It was once said that the job of a newspaper editor was to separate the wheat from the chaff and then print the chaff. Well, today I want to start by getting rid of some of the chaff. How long is Liz Truss going to be Prime Minister? Ooh, and how are they going to get rid of her? And who's going to get the job next? Now look, on an ordinary day, all very interesting. But today, let's be clear, Liz Truss isn't Prime Minister. Her bottom may rest on the chair that the Prime Minister's bottom normally adorns. She may be signing letters Prime Ministers generally sign. She may sleep in the Prime Minister's bed and later in the week may, may, stand in the spot of carpet where Prime Ministers take questions in the House of Commons. But after Jeremy Hunt, the new Chancellor, made his statement today, she doesn't have the policies or the agenda, or the authority that a Prime Minister requires, they have gone. She is not in power. Politely, calmly, ruthlessly, Hunt gutted his predecessor's mini-budget and left it on the floor in bleeding chunks. Liz Truss, the tax cutter, is now Liz Truss, the tax raiser. Last week, she was mocking Labour for only extending the, the energy price guarantee for six months. And now she's doing just the same. She brought Hunt in as a human shield, using his authority to save her premiership. Instead, he has, very politely, quite calmly, locked her in the attic and simply taken over. He sounded far more like a prime minister than, I'm afraid, she ever did. As the pound bounced up, the markets clearly thought so too. So that's done. Trouble over. Absolutely not. There are the spending cuts to come, as, Lab as Jeremy Hunt warned Labour in the House of Commons. I've shown Conservatives can raise taxes. Will she show Labour are willing to restrain spending? Interesting question. There are really tough times coming, after which Hunt himself called decisions of eye-watering difficulty as Liz Truss sat beside him, silent and blinking, looking a bit like a prisoner in the dock, listening to the charges against her. Question is, can they now get all of this through the House of Commons? Tory MPs will have to balance supporting measures which will make them even more unpopular against the risk of an early election, which will do to the Conservative Party, roughly speaking, what the Chancellor has just done to its economic policy. Well, that's up to the Tory party exhibiting the kind of discipline it hasn't shown for years. And that's also when the question of a new leader, a new emergency cabinet that reaches out to all parts of the Conservative family may come back into play. Liz Truss spent much of the day invisible in Downing Street, only appearing for half an hour to listen to Jeremy Hunt and not appearing in the Commons for the urgent question from the Labour leader. Where was she? Stella Creasy was among the Labour MPs wanting to know. And all we know right now is, unless she tells us otherwise, that the Prime Minister is cowering under her desk and asking for it all to go away. <laughs> Isn't it about time she did and let somebody else who can make decisions in the British national interest get in charge instead? Yeah. 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 Well, the Prime Minister is not uh, under a desk as the... <laughs> And that dry assurance from the Leader of the House and defeated leadership candidate Penny Mordaunt may or may not have been intended to be helpful to the Prime Minister. It's now being reported that she was meeting Graham Brady, Sir Graham Brady, chair of the 1922 committee and the man who would deliver the fatal news if Tory MPs were planning on removing her. Very interesting. Possible replacements, including Rishi Sunak, have been seen in the Commons today, perhaps waiting for their moment. But can the Tories really switch leader yet again? In one way, it barely matters. Ordinary families are going to be left with much higher mortgage bills, struggling with inflation and without a government with any clear sense of direction. A revolutionary economic experiment which began with Brexit has just smashed bloodily into the wall. Keir Starmer, the Labour leader, has a 30-point lead in the opinion polls this evening among 2019 Conservative voters. Something very different is on its way.